Hello, Harlem. Dr. Oz here. I'm sorry I could not be there in person to join you for the Harlem Healthy Soul Festival, but I couldn't let this day go by without sharing some of my favorite tips for healthy living. First off, walk. If you can get in a brisk walk for 30 minutes each day, you'll lower your blood pressure, you'll lose some weight, and you'll feel a heck of a lot better. Second, eat five to six small meals instead of three and snack on nuts. They work for me, they'll work for you. If you let yourself feel hungry, you'll almost certainly overeat and you'll gain weight. Lastly, get enough sleep. Seven and a half hours are critical for your overall health and mental fitness. There are a lot of great sources of information out there, but the single most important voice is the one from within. Listen and educate yourself, and remember, prevention is everything. And be sure to check out my new single debut with Harlem's own Dougie Fresh, done in partnership uh, with Partnership for a Healthy America. And remember, building a stronger, better you is the key to building a stronger community. Did you know that every 34 seconds, someone has a heart attack? Every 40 seconds, someone has a stroke. But it doesn't have to be that way. Every day, there's hope. Join me and the American Heart Association and get serious about your heart and your health. If you're doing nothing, do something. If you're doing something, do more. Find healthy living solutions from the American Heart Association's My Heart, My Life. It's that simple. Hello, friends. I'm concerned about the health of our African-American community. According to the American Heart Association, our rates of high blood pressure in the U.S. are among the highest in the world. And diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol, physical inactivity, poor nutrition and smoking are causing us to suffer and die from stroke at alarming rates. In 3 John 2, the Bible says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Visit PowerToEndStroke.org and become empowered to take care of your health. You are the power to end stroke. If you're anything like my family, then you love to play basketball. It's an amazing sport. There's running. There's jumping. There's even dancing. Most importantly, playing basketball for just one hour a day is a great way to get fit. So get on out there, shoot some hoops, and most of all, have some fun. <laughs> The NFL teamed up with the AUA Foundation to fight prostate cancer with the Know Your Stats campaign. 11, 100 12, yards, 527 right. yards. But if you're age 40 or older, there's one stat you absolutely need to know. It's called a PSA score, and knowing it could help save your life. More than 210,000 men will be diagnosed this year, and more than 30,000 will die from prostate cancer. Talk to your doctor. Know your stats.
I was diagnosed in 2008. 2006. 2010. I was 32. I was 30. I was only 28 years old when I found out I had breast cancer. Last year, nearly 200,000 women in the United States were diagnosed with breast cancer. That means a woman in the U.S. is told she has breast cancer every two minutes. This video is two minutes long. Every woman on the planet is at risk for breast cancer. And that risk only increases if someone in your family has been diagnosed. So get checked. Check yourself. Perform routine breast exams at least once a month. It's easy, you can do it in the shower. If something doesn't feel right, it's up to you to find out what's wrong. Tell your doctor about any lumps or any unusual skin irritation, itching or pain. Get regular mammograms starting by at least age 40 and every year after that. Breast cancer may not be preventable, but knowing the facts and knowing your body will increase your chances of finding any cancer early. Early detection means it's easier to treat. These are your sisters we're talking about. Mothers, daughters, friends, neighbors. Please, stay aware. Stay healthy. Stay alive. I survived breast cancer. I survived breast cancer. Sobreviví cancer en los senos. I survived breast cancer. I am still fighting breast cancer. Talk to your doctor. Get regular mammograms. And perform routine self-exams. It's as easy as taking a shower. I'm taking a break in my practice, but those who live with type 1 diabetes, like my son Walker, never get a break. They have to test their blood sugar levels and take insulin just to stay alive. Research is the only answer for the 3 million adults and kids in the U.S. living with this disease. That's why we've joined JDRF, the leading global organization focused on type 1 diabetes research. Join us and visit JDRF.org today. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Skip a rope Saturday, freeze tag Friday, tap dance Thursday. All the healthy children, all the healthy children. Get ideas. Get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov.